we are going to learn kinematic link and different types of kinematic link. Define kinematic link. Each part of a machine which moves relative to some other part is known as a kinematic link. If piston is moving, the connecting rod also moving. That's why it moves related to some other part. A link may consist of several parts which are rigidly fastened together so that they do not move relative with another part. Example, piston, connecting rod and crankshaft. Okay. Next, we'll see types of kinematic link. There are three types of kinematic link. Is there? Rigid, flexible and fluid. What is rigid link? What is rigid kinematic link? Rigid link is one which does not undergo any deformation, does not undergo any deformation while transmitting motion. Example, crankshaft piston. Piston is there. Correct, no? This is the piston. It moves up and down. Does not undergo any deformation while transmitting motion. This is the motion. Flexible link. Flexible link means a flexible link is one which undergoes partial deformation without affecting the transfer motion. Bells, ropes, chains, springs and wires are flexible links and transmit tensile force only. You see, you can see the, you can uh, take the belt. Okay, this is the belt. This is the center. Only Chain only rotates. This is the transfer motion. This is transferring. This is a flexible link. Fluid link. Fluid, a fluid link is a link which has fluid inside the container and motion is transmitted to the fluid by pressure or compression. A fluid link means you can take the tank. You can take the... This is the fluid. Here is the fluid, inside fluid is there. If you give pressure or compression, the motion is transmitted to the fluid by pressure or compression. You have to compress this, the fluid is going this side. Example, fluid used in a hydraulic brush, hydraulic jack, hydraulic crane, hydraulic brake, etc. 